the horses that were beaten or destroyed uh, by uh, newspaper of record uh, in that Miss Grillo stakes. Uh, Varinka, uh, who comes uh, out of the Graham Motion Bar, and Stellar Agent. They are both 20 and 30 to 1 respectively. So some people will take a shot believing that, that maybe things you know may go awry in this race. Stranger things have happened. We've all seen that, in, and particularly in Breeders' Cups at, at Churchill Downs. So these two horses, they've got a lot of links to make up. They have to hope that newspaper of record sort of regresses on some level, or perhaps they improve marketably to the point where they're able to battle with, you know, the, the odds on favorite. Those are two horses that you're looking at in terms of long shot value. Then the horses that finish one, two, three, particularly the number one and two horses in the Natama Stakes, grade one up in Canada at Woodbine down its long stretch. Horse by the name of La Pelosa won that in a very snappy time of 133.70, defeating My Gal Betty. Uh, they're coming out of the 5 and the 13 post positions, respectively. These two horses are very, very good. The latter trained by Hall of Famer Roger Atfeld. And I believe that these two horses also have some value. That time of 133.70 over the flat mile distance that this Breeders' Cup Juvenile Turf Phillies is being contested at certainly is going to raise a few eyebrows with the betters. And also, uh, what's interesting about that is if you want to find it, a, a negative or downside is the fact that La Pelosa did drift in the stretch, so that has to be corrected. Now, that could have been a, a, obviously a symptom of fatigue. Uh, there are no reports that she was looking at the board or looking around the way that Tenfold did in the Jim Dandy stakes and the major prep leading to the Travers. But in... in it, it, Overall, she looks like a very, very good prospect. Again, uh, La Pelosa is 15 to 1. That's value right there, whether the odds go up or down, even if she drops to 10 to 1, 11 to 1. She may perhaps drop even lower, may go higher. But she's 15 to 1. My girl Betty is 20 to 1. And I think those two horses are definitely worth uh, wagering a couple, a couple coins on. A couple of other horses are very interesting. Summering from the West Coast uh, won the Del Mar uh, debutante on the turf, over the Del Mar juvenile turf. Uh, for the uh, fillies out there. And then she didn't run so well in the Surfer Girl Stakes. She's a very tactically talented horse. She's one of those that I think could dictate or certainly be a big part of the early pace of the race. And we're going to certainly see some horses turning on their afterburners in this race. And then it's just a question of who's got gear seven and eight and be able to explode down the lane. And she comes in, she's 15 to 1. Uh, Drayden, Van Dyke, Drayden Van Dyke has the mount. And she's very, very interesting because I believe coming out of the 12 hole, that may be a detriment to her. She's going to have to be used coming out of there, but they're only going a mile. So perhaps that is not going to be uh, counterproductive to her chances to compete in here. So she's one of the ones. And then when you look around at the rest of the field, there's Paquette. Uh, Paquette finished second, two concrete rows in that Jessamine Stakes. She was very, very good. Uh, John Velasquez has the mount. Todd Pletcher uh, trains uh, this two-year-old. She's 12 to 1. And then the third place horse is a very interesting horse from uh, both a human interest standpoint and the fact she has talent. And that would be Bella Laura. She's 20 to 1. She's trained by Norm Cassie. Now, if some of you, who's Norm Cassie? Norm Cassie was the assistant to Hall of Famer Mark Cassie uh, for many, many years. Uh, he's, of course, uh, Nor uh, Mark Cassie's son. And Less than a year after going out on his own here in 2018, he has a Breeders' Cup contender. She's 20 to 1. She broke her maiden at Churchill Down. So that's very, very interesting. She has won over the Churchill surface. Again, that may be an oxymoron, maybe a not much to do about nothing because one can't tell exactly what the track condition will be. We do know that newspaper of record likes it soft or certainly she has performed well on the soft. She's only run twice. So we'll see if she appreciates a firm course where she hears her feet rattle Many would think that if anything, she she will benefit and be even better with a firm turf course than she was on the soft. But that remains to be seen. But back to Bell Laura, she's twenty to one. She's won over the Churchill surface. Trained by Norm Cassie, trained uh, son of Hall of Famer Mark. Very very interesting uh, interesting human interest story, and she's a very very good filly. She has a bright upside along with a number of these horses. So the one two three horses from the Jessamine Stakes, the one two from the Natalma Stakes are two are two sets of horses that I think could really impact uh, the finish of this race of newspaper record and concrete rows don't dominate in the fashion that many people think that they will. So. 
With that being said, that's your field right there. 14 horses, a very, very interesting field. Uh, there's a lot of quality in here. There's a lot of value. There's no one at overwhelming odds at 30 to 1, but I do believe once we get to post time in the, in the hours and minutes and seconds leading uh, to uh, the running of the juvenile uh, Phillies turf, uh, some odds are going to change. We're going to see some inflated odds. We're going to see some odds dip.